اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم I seek the protection of Allah against the devil بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم In the name of Allah the most beneficent and the most merciful رب شرع لی صدری و یسر لی امر و علو لگدتم من لسانی یفقہو قولی O my Lord, open for me my chest Grant me the self-confidence, contentment and boldness and make loose the knot from my tongue that you understand my speech السلام علیکم May peace, blessings and mercy of Allah be upon you and to all the messengers of Allah and in particular on the noble and the final messenger prophet Muhammad peace be upon him his family and his companions in this video we will be completing the section e governance risk management and control of the CIA part 1 essentials of internal auditing it has the weightage of 35% exams feed forward controls feed forward controls identify a problem before it occurs and attempt to prevent it from occurring an example of the feed forward controls is the preventive maintenance on a machine to avoid a breakdown. Policies and the procedures are other examples of the feed forward controls. Concurrent controls. Concurrent controls operate the simultaneously as a process. They monitor and make adjustments based upon immediate feedback from the system. Feedback controls. Feedback controls identify a problem after it has occurred. Although this may be the most common form of the control, it is the least effective and the least efficient because time and money have been wasted before the detection. Characteristics of the effective controls An effective control system should have the following characteristics. Economical There must be a positive cost-benefit ratio, meaning that the organization saves more than the control cost. Meaningful only significant material items need controls. Appropriate. The control system should relate to an objective or goal of the company. Congruent. The result of the system should be helpful and in line with what it is measuring. Timely. The information must be available in enough time to act upon it. Simple. The control must be understandable to the people using it. Operational. The control should provide the benefit to operations and not simply be interesting. Limitations of the internal controls Internal controls can provide only reasonable assurance that objectives can be achieved. Internal controls should never be promoted as a guarantee. Human error, faulty judgment, collusion and fraud can all limit the effectiveness of the controls. Excessive or unreasonable controls can increase the bureaucracy and reduce the productivity. Controls must be evaluated in terms of their cost and benefit to avoid wasting resources. Responsibility of the internal controls The board of the directors oversees the control system. The CEO is responsible for tone at the top. Senior managers delegate the responsibility for establishing the specific internal control policies and the procedures. Financial officers and their staffs are central to the exercise of the control. Internal auditors play a monitoring role. Virtually, all employees are involved in the internal control. External parties such as the independent auditors often provide the valuable information for effective internal control. Main elements of the control process Setting the objectives Measuring performance against a standard Evaluating the results when correcting or regulating the performance Input controls in an automated system Edit checks Key verifications Redundancy checks Eco checks And the completeness checks Edit checks Edit checks confirm the validity and accuracy of input data such as verifying that each field has a proper numeric, alphabetic or alphanumeric format and that the information in the transaction is reasonable. Key verification. Key verification is the requirement of inputting information again and comparing the two inputs. For example, entering a new password twice before it is saved. Redundancy checks. Redundancy checks send the additional sets of data to confirm the accuracy and validity of the original data. Eco checks. Eco checks send data back to the sender to compare it with what was originally sent. Completeness check. 
Completeness checks for the transmission of data determine whether all the necessary information has been sent. Processing controls in an automated control system. Posting checks. Cross-footing. Zero balance checks. Run-to-run -run control totals. Internal header and trailer labels. Concurrency controls. And the key integrity checks. Posting checks. Posting checks compare the contents of the record before and after updating. Cross-footing. Cross-footing compares the sum of the individual components to their total figure. Zero balance checks. Zero balance checks are used when a total sum should be zero. Run-to-run -to -run control totals. Run-to-run -to -run control totals verify the data values during the different processing stages and help ensure the completeness of all the transactions. Internal header and the trailer labels. Internal header and the trailer labels ensure that the correct files are processed. Concurrency controls. Concurrency controls manage two or more programs trying to access the same information at the same time. Key integrity checks. Key integrity checks ensure that the keys, characteristics of records that allow them to be sorted are not changed during the data processing. Output controls in an automated control system. Output distribution controls. Output retention controls. Form controls and the error logs. Output distribution controls. Output distribution controls ensure that the distribution is made following the pre-authorized automated or manual parameters. Output retention controls. Output retention controls ensure that the output is retained following the organizational policies, considering the statutory and the legal requirements. Forms controls. Forms controls make sure that there is proper control over checks, bonds, and stock certificates. These items need to be protected by physical and the logical controls. Error logs. Error logs are listings of the processing errors. These error logs needs to be reviewed to ensure that data is still being correctly processed. Four duties that always should be segregated. Number one, authorizing a transaction. Number two, recording the transaction, preparing the source documents and maintaining journals. Number three, keeping the physical custody of the related asset. For example, receiving checks in the mail. Number four, the periodic reconciliation of the physical assets to the recorded amounts for those assets. Collusion. Collusion is when two or more people work together to get around the controls that are in place. Components of internal control. Number one, control environment. Number two, risk assessment. Number three, control activities. Number four, information and communication. And number five, monitoring activities. Control environment and the COSO model. The control environment sets the tone for the organization, influencing the control consciousness of its people. The control environment is the foundation for the other components of the internal control. Risk assessment in the COSO model. The risk assessment identifies and analyzes the relevant risks to achieving the objectives and forms a basis for managing risk. Control activities in the COSO model. Control activities ensure that the management directives are carried out. These policies and the procedures also outline the necessary steps to address the risk to the organization objectives. Information and communication in the COSO model. These are the systems or the processes that support the identification, capture and exchange of information in a form and time frame that enable people to carry out their responsibilities. Monitoring in the COSO model. These are the processes used to assess the quality of internal control performance over time. This objective is accomplished through ongoing monitoring activities, separate evaluations or a combination of two. Principles of the control environment under the COSO model. The organization demonstrates a commitment to integrity and the ethical values. The board of directors demonstrates the independence from management and exercises oversight of the development and performance of the internal control. Management establishes with the board oversight, structures and reporting lines and appropriate authorities and the responsibilities to pursue the objectives. The organization demonstrates a commitment to attract, develop 
and retain the competent individuals in alignment with the objectives. The organization holds the individuals accountable for their internal control responsibilities in the pursuit of the objectives. Principles of the Risk Assessment in the COSO Model The organization specifies the objectives with the sufficient clarity to identify and assess risk relating to the objectives. The organization identifies risk to the achievement of its objectives across the entity and analyzes the risk as a basis for determining how the risk should be managed. The organization considers the potential for fraud in assessing risk to the achievement of the objectives. The organization identifies and assesses changes that could significantly impact the system of internal control. Principles of the control activities in the COSO model The organization selects and develops the control activities that contribute to the mitigation of risk to achieve the objectives to acceptable levels. The organization selects and develops the general control activities over technology to support the achievement of the objectives. The organization deploys control activities through policies that establish what is expected and procedures that put policies into action. Principles of the information and communication in the COSO model. The organization obtains or generates and uses the relevant quality information to support the functioning of internal control. The organization internally communicates information including the objectives and the responsibilities for internal control necessary to support the functioning of the internal control. The organization communicates with the external parties regarding matters affecting the functioning of the internal control. Principles of the monitoring activities in the COSO model. The organization selects, develops and performs ongoing and separate evaluations to ascertain whether the components of internal control are present and functioning. The organization evaluates and communicates the internal control deficiencies promptly to those parties responsible for taking the corrective action, including the senior management and the board of directors as appropriate. Types of controls that both COSO and COCO emphasize. Soft controls emphasize the ideas and the expectations, for example, shared values, expectations, commitment, competence, and trust, rather than the specific tasks, for example, the policies and the procedures. Key tenants of the Turnbull Report The board's responsibility for the internal controls, the management's responsibility for the internal controls, the employee's responsibility for internal controls, and adopting a risk-based approach, ongoing monitoring of risk and the controls. Role of the internal audit activity in company's control system. The internal audit activity must assess the organization in maintaining effective controls by evaluating their effectiveness and efficiency and promoting the continuous improvement. The steps in evaluation of effectiveness of controls. Identify the objectives and any associated risks. Determine the significance of any risk. Make note of the responses to these risks. Identify the key controls. Assess how well a given control is designed. Test the control to ascertain the effectiveness of the design. Criteria that help the internal audit activity measure the effectiveness of the specific control. The level of control must be appropriate for the risk it addresses. For example, petty cash does not need as many controls as cash received from the customers. The cost of the control must not exceed the benefits it provides. For example, the office supply cabinet does not need 24-7 surveillance and a biometric scanner for access, but a server room certainly would. No control should create a significant business concerns. For example, regardless of how efficiently a control manages a particular risk, if the control breaks the law, it puts the company in significant legal jeopardy. Here comes the end of the section E governance, risk management and control. Please attempt the 37 true false questions as provided in the CIA part one essentials of internal auditing 2022 study book. Now you can practice the 238 MCQs from the CIA part 1 test bank questions of the 2022. 
CIA part one essentials of internal auditing study book and the CIA part one test bank questions of the 2022 are available for subscription from my website zenacademy.us or the mzen.org. Please do like the video, share it and subscribe the channel for amazing contents. Feel free to ask any questions relating to studies through WhatsApp or through email. May Allah, Lord of the heavens and the earth bless you in this world and in particular in life hereafter. Ameen. Have a nice day. Take care. Allah Hafiz.